For this demonstration on IBM's Smarter Commerce product replenishment capabilities, this slide provides you an overview of the company, product, and players involved. The company is Global Reach, a consumer products manufacturer of energy bars and related products. One of their energy bar product lines is Durabar. Within this environment of fast-moving consumer goods, Global Reach strives to have tight alignment across marketing, sales, and operations. In this demonstration scenario, Brad is the key player involved in the product replenishment process. He is responsible for supply chain fulfillment of demand and delivering upon the promised service levels in the most efficient and cost-effective way. He strives to maintain the right amount of inventory in the network to avoid any overstock situations that might result in excess working capital tied up in inventory, and avoid any understock situations that might jeopardize service levels and negatively impact customer relationships. So with that background, let's move in to the actual solutions. Brad has set up his home page to take a look at full country performance. And knowing Durabar sales are up, though soft in some regions, he keeps a daily pulse on what is happening to ensure current forecast can meet demand. As he scans over the top of each region, he has rolled up sales figures that are supplying him with up-to-the-day sales figures for each of those regions. At the bottom left, he has both a full category view and at the bottom right, a full retailer view of performance at his fingertips. In near real time, he has a dashboard that gives him access to supply and demand performance. In the top left of the screen, Brad's red regions of the U.S. highlight regions where current forecasts may not meet current consumer demand. He desires to further understand the Northeast region product categories, which are displayed in the lower left of the screen. With this view of the Northeast region, he realizes that actual sales are exceeding forecasts for the breakfast food and other snacks categories. He now knows he will need to drill further into the situation to respond to the potential shortfall and determine any course corrections in areas as needed. His next step is to take a look at his order management tab. As Brad has determined from his homepage alerts, a potential shortfall of product in the Northeast region is possible. He decides to review this order hub to gain a comprehensive view of supply and demand. He is able to determine that the primary location involves the Mechanicsburg distribution facility and the item in question is the Durabar banana nut product. In this particular view, it is clearly identified that the demand exceeds supply and a cost-effective response will need to be determined to address the shortfall. One option is to utilize the additional search criteria in the upper right corner of the screen to pull in additional nodes to identify other available inventory. In Global Reach's case, they also sell this product via their online sales channel, and Brad could open up the search to see if inventory in their web sales channel is available. However, Brad decides to view all open inbound purchase orders to see if a PO could be diverted to Mechanicsburg before deciding to pull product out of the web inventory. To do so, he moves to supply chain visibility, personalized and real-time access to inventory purchase order and sales order information is critical for Brad to identify possible product shortages or identify the most optimal way to recover from a supply disruption. In this current case, Brad is utilizing supply chain visibility to identify any current inbound purchase orders that could be diverted to the Northeast region to address the Durabar shortage. While this screen shows a search based on receiving location and item ID, it is important to note that the user can search on a variety of criteria. And this is an example based on inventory. Brad could also search in a separate screen based, based on shipment information. Brad makes note of any inbound purchase orders that are in transit or planning to ship that could be diverted to solve the product shortfall within the Northeast region. This end-to-end -end supply chain connectivity and automated consistent flow of information on orders and shipments allows Global Reach to minimize supply chain disruptions and improve product availability. Because of the potential shortfall, Brad decides to check on recent supplier performance. He accesses supply chain visibility compliance. IBM's supply chain visibility allows Brad to create and monitor milestones and performance over periods of time. For global reach, Brad is reviewing non-compliance activity for a supplier during the past seven months. This provides global reach a good perspective on historical performance. 
In this case, the information indicates that Brad may want to have further conversations with the supplier as non-compliance activity spiked in April and May compared to the previous five months. And if financial penalties have been agreed upon with the supplier, those penalties can also be tracked as represented by the lower half of this screen. Since Brad has identified a hot shipment located on an inbound purchase order, he has also notified the transportation department that this hot shipment is expected and that the Durabar banana nut product will need to be delivered quickly to avoid a product shortage. As the Global Reach Transportation Planner becomes involved in attempting to expedite orders and shipments, the planner now reviews all orders planned for delivery out of the Global Reach Mechanicsburg facility into the Kroger Albany facility. This is prior to any load building or planning that has occurred. With the priority identified to expedite shipments to this Kroger facility, the planner can now build this load and tender for immediate delivery. Also from the central location, you can see that the transportation planner can review purchase orders, shipments, dock details, and other criteria by using the upper tabs. Additional options are highlighted on the right column with the ability to fully manage transportation activity from load building and optimizing to execution all the way through freight payment auditing. The transportation planner also decides to view transportation management compliance. While a number of transportation KPIs can be tracked and monitored, the Global Reach Planner is curious to determine how often the primary carriers are selected for this route from Mechanicsburg to Kroger in Albany. This view highlights the fact that the number one carrier has only been selected 12% of the time for this particular route. This indicates that the planner might want to have a conversation with the carrier to determine if they have enough equipment to cover this route or identify other factors that are impacting the selection of the number one preferred carrier for this particular route. Now that Brad has feels comfortable that the product has been identified from an inbound purchase order and that the transportation department has been notified that the hot shipment is expected shortly and, and needs to be delivered quickly, he feels comfortable that Global Reach will respond cost effectively to this unexpected supply disruption. He also wants to take it one last item on his dashboard and that is the metrics. Analyzing monitoring the appropriate information to achieve an intelligent supply chain ensures product availability with cost effectiveness is an imperative. For Brad, he has set up supply chain inventory and transportation KPIs on this particular screen to monitor and measure supply chain performance. This for provides a high level indication of performance along with providing any indication of performance trends that might require additional research for the root cause. Based on this potential product shortage situation, Brad notices that the forecast accuracy is on the decline in May when compared to April. He makes note to perform further research to determine if demand unexpectedly spiked or identify additional factors that impacted the forecast accuracy. The analytics and performance measurement indicators are all user-defined so that virtually any KPI can be tracked and Global Reach has set up user-defined metrics dashboards so that each manager and executive can track the metrics that are most important for managing their role and process within the Global Reach supply chain. This has allowed Global Reach and Brad to improve the overall performance of their supply chain. I hope you've enjoyed this short demonstration of IBM Smarter Commerce product replenishment capabilities. Thank you.